Hello and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we're doing a technical analysis on another stock, which actually is a good stock, can be a portfolio stock. I'm going to go through different aspects of the stock and see why this could be a portfolio stock. I categorize stocks in different ways. I feel there are stocks that are portfolio stock. I feel there is stock with a high volatility as their hot stock. You could do it in, in you know every day you could trade. Or every week you trade and make a, a good amount of money or lose good amount of money. High volatility, high risk means high rewards. And there are stocks that actually are, are steady and they gain a momentum, uh, you know, steadily. And then you put money in there and just leave it in there and forget about it. So we're going to find out what's, what this stock is about, whether it's a hot stock portfolio stock and before i get into the te technical analysis uh, if you're new to the channel please do subscribe to the channel the intention the objective of the channel is to find good stocks uh that are uh you know long term short term hot uh whichever way we can make money right and without losing uh without losing money i'm not a financial advisor this is how this is the approach i take and you know hopefully i'll, I'll make these videos so anybody else uh, can also learn from this all right let's get into it right so the company that we're talking about is csx uh, railroad uh, transportation company. They actually, uh, you know, transfer stuff from different. Uh, uh, they, they cover twenty thousand miles transporting stuff on a, on a rail. Okay, now this company actually it's out of um, uh, Florida. They cover about twenty three states, and it's a seventy five billion dollar company. And the great thing about this one is the P.E. ratio, which is market value divided by your earnings per share. You have a P.E. of 20, 42. Now, they do about 11 cents shares on an average. And looking at the institutional holdings, big dogs like, uh, you know, all the big companies like Investment, Vanguard, BlackRock, State Street, um, you know, the big company, Northern Trust. These big companies hold 73% of the stock. Which means they own the majority of the stock, which is a great news because if you have a majority of institutional banks holding on to a price, uh, if you could buy it at low, uh, then you could just leave it in there and then just forget about it and hold on to it for a while before you know you could see some price fluctuation unless they you know doing a short squeeze or something like that. But all right, let's get into the technical analysis. I did draw up the trend lines here. Um, I'm on a daily chart, so we're gonna go back and see where the stock fell. To twenty nine dollars, and it was in September twenty twenty one. If we go back, you know, this is our support. You see, the last time it went to twenty nine uh, twenty nine dollars was in March two thousand twenty one. So we could clearly see this is our support. If the stock goes down, it goes down to usually twenty nine dollars. The highest it went is thirty eight dollars, and that is sort of holds true because thirty eight dollars was never been the case uh, in, in any of the the past. Okay, past pricing, the max it went it was thirty four dollars. Okay, now right now the stock actually so the our, so our support really is thirty twenty nine forty six, and our ceiling is it, it's um, it's at thirty eight dollars. Okay, and it was it was it was there for couple of days right there okay and then it went down again now there's a new uh support and resistance for this time being um and i have a couple of indicators added to it i have uh, moving averages added to it i have rsi and macd all right let's look at moving averages moving averages i have is 50 periods 20 periods and 200 periods now 50 periods 20 periods basically periods are nothing but candles okay so i would say if i go 20 days back how did the price fluctuated and what was the average price for the last 20 days the average price for the last 20 days is pretty much holds true with the the price of the stock right now is 34.31 all right 50 periods it's fluctuating it's uh you know if last 50 candles the average price is 35 dollars and if you see the 200 average from last 200 days the average price is 33 dollars. so it is fluctuating between 33 and 35 dollars. right now the stock is at sitting at 34 dollars 31 cents now let's look at the other indicators and see whether this is a good buy or not okay rsi generally is a strength indicate index that um you know relative strength index which tells you that okay if the stock is being bought it would usually turn up above 70 okay anything above 70 there's a massive buyout happen around that time. So if you notice here, for example, in um, October 2021, uh, the RSI was above 70. And you start from here, for example. So let's say we start from here, from the bottom. Okay, so it was around 31. As I said, it was below 30 or 30. That means this, the stock price has fallen. And let's say you start picking it up. The stock price is rising along with it. When it reached about 70, look at the price. 
Apparently, the price was at $36.36. And, and you see the RSI is above 70, right? Now it's going back down again. The price fluctuating, but it never went down to like literally low to 30. Yet here at this point, it went down to 30, 28, 28. Um, this 2820 and the price is actually 33 okay so it and now the only the good thing about technical analysis if you look at the past pricing it, it could give you an indication how this fluctuation is happening right so now it went down to 30 the next move is going to be is going to start going up and never going to go to zero okay you understand that because we already established that the 73 percent of the stock is owned by institutional banks so it's never never going to go to zero okay if they see the price dropping a lot they will increase the price, you know, they will, they will, they will be some manipulation in the market to get this going. All right. And they will buy majority of the stocks just to get you guys going, retail investors and other investors and they pump in, you know, they jump in and they stop buying the stock and the price is going to start rising. Okay. Right now the, the RSI is 47. Generally, if it's below 50, um, I've noticed that if it's below 50, generally it start declining again. Uh, but, uh, and this, I can hold that true. Like, for example, you see right here, right? It's 51, and then it started declining again. The price fell again. So on Monday, right, you guys would have to see whether this goes above 50. And also, I added the MACD on here. This is a moving average short length and uh, long length. MACD and RSI works together. So if the RSI is going up, let's say going up to 52, for example, you will see the MACD also going up, okay? If the MACD is going down, the RSI is going up, you want to wait on that. Don't get into that position because that's... There could be a spikes that are not long-term spikes. There could be short-term spikes. If they're both on the same direction, and we can probably look at the example one more time. We just saw if we're if the RSI was above 70, you would also see the MACD. Um, let me see if I can find it right here. RSI was above 70. Look at the MACD. MACD was also above the signal line. The brown line is a MACD. Blue line is signal line for me. So we'll look at the RSI. It's above 70. MACD is above signal line which was indicating the stock price was rising now here um, here if you noticed on friday it started kicking off to an upward trend and you have it at 47 again if it goes above 50 and if it does and you don't get into the position for example you want to wait and see you have a ceiling right here you have a ceiling at 35 dollars and 30 cents it's going to hit that ceiling Generally, that's your stop. Limit orders kick in and the stock price falls again. And it's going to go back to your 33 again. And you can always get into that position and make a dollar gain after that when it goes back to the ceiling. Uh, generally, if, there, if there's a resistance, uh, that resistance um, generally is not broken quite easily unless there's a news catalyst. You know, that is indicating that something major is going to happen. Usually what happens is people have stop losses and they have limit orders, stuff like that. So, and people do stop, you know, when they hit the ceiling, it, it comes back down to your support and support makes sure that, you know, it doesn't go below support and generally it stays there. For example, if I were to go back again, just to demonstrate that, uh, you see here on uh, January 25th, it hit the support, it bounced back up, hit the ceiling, bounced back down. Not quite, it didn't quite get to the ceiling, but it went, it went down again, hit the support go down to ceiling again, hit the support, went down a little bit. That could have been just a, a fluke. You know, sometimes this uh, false signals happen as well. You, you cannot, uh, you know, you cannot indicate this is a, a going out of the uh, support. So there was a peak, but it went back right back in. All right, the closing price was, your closing price was at $35 at that point. Okay, so went back up again. Now you could potentially see Monday could go to the ceiling and bounce back down to the support again. So I think I think Monday, um, you know, it'll be good to see where the stock rise. If it goes to the ceiling, it goes down to support. If you buy it, for example, at thirty-three dollars and you keep it for some days, you can actually gain a dollar on that. Um, I think dollar is a good uh, buy. And again, it's a cheap stock. You know, it's not five hundred dollars stock. It's a thirty-five dollars stock. If you buy a couple of shares, and and you could gain, you know, dollar every, you know, for per share, and you have a couple of shares on it. And you could go long on it as well, as I stated earlier, that you don't have to play, you know, you don't have to swing trade. You don't have to sell it after a few weeks. You could keep it long and, 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 and even keep it in long if you buy it. For example, if, if this you buy it right here 
Um, there's a still potential that could go up. Let's say if you want to wait for a long position, you say, you know what, I want to wait for the long position. Uh, just wait and watch if the stock price falls to 29. When it does fall to 29, it could definitely go up to 38 or 30, 37 for sure, right? So this is your support. So you could either wait and play a short term or if you want to go long, wait to see how the stock behaves. You know, with, the, with all this Ukraine stuff that's going on, if it falls, it's going to fall into uh, twenty nine dollars and forty six cents. You could get it here and then uh, wait for it to go back to the uh, thirty seven or thirty eight dollars. This is my quick analysis. I think this is definitely a buy. It's, <clears throat> I don't think the stock is wrong. Anything wrong with it? So it's a good stock. So if you if you like this video, you find anything informative, please do subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more videos on different stocks. Have a good day.